Right, hello everybody. Welcome back to our weekly worship. I'm so excited that you have come back to worship with us and hear a little bit more about our story from this week. So we heard in our video about Saul and how he saw Jesus on the road to Damascus. And when Jesus, or that bright light, appeared, Saul was the only one that could hear that voice. Everyone else who was with Saul covered their eyes and fell to the ground. And the voice, because he didn't know it was Jesus at the time, said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Or why are you hurting me? And this was probably a terrifying experience for Paul. Saul, he was probably very scared. Um, and he said, who are you, Lord? And the voice replied, I am Jesus. I am the one who you are hurting. And when Paul was hurt, hurting or persecuting Christians or believers, he was really hurting Jesus himself. And the Lord was speaking to Saul so that he would understand that he is the son of God, the promised Messiah, because he didn't believe this at this point. Now Saul probably felt pretty terrible after this. He thought that Jesus was dead, he had been put on a cross to die and was buried. He thought that God was pleased with his work of trying to get rid of the people who believed in Jesus because he didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah. So when Saul heard this voice from heaven, he knew that he had been wrong and that he had been fighting God's son. So Saul met Jesus on his way to Damascus and from that moment on believed that Jesus was the savior of God, that God promised to send. And he started his journey as an enemy of God, as a persecutor of followers of Jesus. But now after this bright light appeared to him, after Jesus appeared to him, his life was transformed. He was no longer an enemy of God's, but he was now God's child. And he went on to become Paul the Apostle, which we'll learn about later. So this story shows that when you focus in on who Jesus really is, the Savior of the world, he can change everything. And that is our one thing to remember this week. Knowing Jesus changes everything. All right, I'm going to pray. And then there are three worship songs attached to this video. Will you bow your heads with me? Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for these bright and amazing students and families who have come to listen to a story about your greatness. Help us focus on you and your plan for the Lord, for the world. Lord, I ask that you keep everyone healthy, happy, and safe, for it is in your son's holy name that I pray. Amen. All right, check back next week for more fun activities and some updates about our stuff that we're going to be doing this summer. Bye.